Hi guys and welcome. In this lecture, I'm going to explain two important commands, which is the offset. This is the offset and the stretch command. First of all, let's start with the stretch command. A stretch command is like the move command, but the only difference between them is that you can move all the objects that you want in one direction okay let's for example select the stretch command here they are telling you to select the objects you want to stretch for example I want to stretch these objects okay then right click now they are telling me to specify a base point or a displacement and by the displacement they mean the distance that I want to make my move to but I want to specify a base point because it's a lot easier and if you have a specific distance you can enter it for example let's specify the first point the center of this circle and then I can move it and switch it up and then I can move it or switch it down I can move it here I can move it here and this is the meaning by stretching. It's like moving the thing that you have selected in while the other things are not moving. See this baseline? It's not moving. But the other objects that you have selected are moving. So, if I put it to here, you can see that it's like I've stretched the shape in the vertical direction right it's very easy this is the stretch command now going to the offset command the offset command it's like when you just hold on this shape you can see that you are creating or copying the shape in the same or the, the in the same direction as it's it's written or it's drawn for example let's apply it on this line first of all when you click on this command you have to specify the distance you want for example let's split for 10 then press enter now go to this line and select it as you can see when I move the mouse left or right you can see I can choose my offset direction I want it in the outside of the shape click outside see then you can see that your options will be saved I mean the 10 that you have entered just a moment ago this distance between these two lines are 10 when you click on this line again and then do this you can see that your options have been saved and you can do it to arches as well see and then the baseline see you have offset all these lines what if I want to offset it to the inside you can do it this one this one this one and also this one see it's very easy now if you want to change the distance, always press D. Now, the distance, distance you want to do, let's select the offset again. Now, you have to specify a distance. Let's make it for 50. Select the object, like this one. Then this object. This, go to this, zoom out, in. So, this is for the offset command. You can do it to the curved lines and the straight lines as well. Now, let's just do a preview of all the commands that you have done. There is a command that's called extend. Right, I told you about this command. In this command, you have to press 
select this one and then select this one press enter now you have to select the edge extend this one and this one see this you can do this because it's in the opposite direction let's do it again let's go to the extend here and select this object right click and then do the E thing enter extend I want to press on the E I guess that there is something wrong let's do it again extend like this one and this one then you have to press on one again and it will be extended since you have already picked this shape it will be all extended to what to the same lines you have picked okay let's do it again to the inside let's go click on the extend select this one and this one right click then you have to press E extend do this and then do this and you can do this again with the extend Click this one and this one. Right click. Then click on the object that you want to extend. Press the escape. And now we have created this shape by using the offset and the stretch and the extend options or commands. And that's it for today's lecture.